I'm Paul Brett. I'd like to give you a couple of examples of what definitely not to collect in the world of vintage guitars and what would be worth considering, even though some restoration and a major repair is needed. First up is a collegiate acoustic. These types of guitars were passed around the student fraternity and as you're about to witness you will clearly see lots of student evidence leaving their marks all over this guitar, which can be erased with some luthier skills, but, and it's a big but, someone down the timeline of history decided to take the polyfiller to fix a bad side split and what looks like a gaping hole in the side. As you can see these are not exactly invisible repairs. This guitar fortunately is not a collectible item even if it were in excellent condition. So any kind of expensive restoration to bring this up to scratch will be a total waste of money. Its value lies only in showing people what not to buy under any circumstances. This guitar, however, is a different proposition. It's quite a rare Hofner 458. It too has issues and missing parts. The neck, for example, has come away from the body in at one time and says a really tacky repair has been rather unsuccessfully attempted. The bridge is missing, the pickup needs attention and a couple of buttons on one side of the tuner strip have been replaced by mismatched and unsightly substitutes. The body is in good shape overall, although some laminate is peeling away where the neck repair was attempted. The tailpiece I suspect is a later addition as the original normally would have been a Lyra shape with Karl Hofner logo across the middle. This compensated tailpiece was associated more with the Hofner Selma Senator guitars. So it's not in the greatest of shape, but unlike the Collegiate, it is worth restoring as the damage is not as irretrievable. If, however, you decide not to restore it, you could strip it down and sell it as spares. Hofner spares fetch quite a high price. For example, an original compensator tailpiece could go for around the $270 mark. A pair of complete strip head machines for around $240. A vintage neck for around $450. Even a pot from the 60s could get 60 bucks. Single control knob, 30. Plastic pickup mounting, 30, and so on. A good condition body can reach anything, really, depending on the buyer's needs. So you see, even if you didn't want to invest in a restoration, this type of guitar can be a little breadwinner if you can source it at the right price. You can read my full text in the accompanying article with some photographs of the issues I mentioned. Good luck.